Welcome to the Baseball Cloud series of tutorial videos. This video will look at the data filters in PitchR. Opening PitchR, you will see the Filters button in the upper right corner of the interface. Clicking the menu icon will expand the data filters interface. Clicking the X will close the data filters. Under the filters is a multitude of categories to help you narrow down the pitches you wish to examine. Next to each category's name is an eraser icon. When clicked, the eraser will clear the category selections and set it back to its default setup. Next is the drop down arrow that, when selected, will open the list of options for that category. Once open, you will see a list of options with a checkbox next to them. You will also see a checkbox appear next to the category's name. Clicking the checkbox next to the listed option will change it to a green checkbox. This indicates the selection will be included in the displayed pitches when the filters are applied. If no list items are selected in a category, PitchR will not use that category when applying filters. For example, if in Pitcher Handedness you do not pick either right handed pitcher or left handed pitcher, then both right and left handed pitchers will be displayed when the filter is applied. Selecting the checkbox next to the category's name will select all listed options. Clicking again will unselect all listed options. On the bottom of the filters interface is an eraser icon that will clear all selected options from all lists and revert them to their default settings. The arrows on either side of filter one or filter two will let you switch between two different sets of applied filters. The Apply button takes all your selected options from above and displays the results onto the field. Each category has its own set of options. First, Events lists your uploaded CSV files. By default, your most recently uploaded CSV file will be selected and displayed upon opening PitchR. Unlike other categories, you need at least one event selected for any pitches to be displayed. Players will list all pitchers and hitters in selected CSV files. Pitchers will list all pitchers in selected CSV files. And hitters will list all hitters in selected CSV files. Pitcher handedness gives options for right or left handed pitchers to be displayed. Batter handedness gives options for right or left handed batters to be displayed. Pitch type allows you to filter specific pitch types. Fastball, sinker, cutter, curveball, slider, changeup, splitter, and knuckleball, or groups of pitch types, fastballs, breaking, or off speed. Pitch call filters by umpire's declared result. Strike called, foul, ball called, strike swinging, or in play. Play result filters by what happened to the pitch. Swing, take, all balls in play, base hit, hard hit, damage, single, double, triple, home run, out or error. Hit type will display pitches that are put into play in a variety of ways. Ground ball, line drive, fly ball, or pop-up. Pitch metrics will filter based on a variety of advanced statistics. Velocity, spin rate, vertical break, induced vertical break, horizontal break, vertical approach angle, horizontal approach angle, release height, release side, extension, vertical release angle, horizontal release angle, exit velocity, and bearing. Unlike the other categories, pitch metrics does not have checkboxes. To use a pitch metric filter, simply adjust the metric you want to use to your desired range. This will activate the filter and PitchR will use it the next time you apply. To reset a pitch metric, pull the range bar ends back to full size. 
Counts allow you to filter based on the number of balls and strikes at the time of the pitch. For more information on some of the terms in this tutorial, check out the Baseball Cloud Glossary. Thank you for watching this Baseball Cloud tutorial video.